Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe After Effects CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this repeating echo effect using the rotor brush to mask our subject and some time effects. So the first thing I'm going to do with my layer open in a composition is grab my rotor brush tool, which is in the top toolbar. I'm going to actually double click on my layer so that it opens up that layer in its individual window, and you'll see the rotor brush brush appear. Now in the brushes panel, if you go to window brushes, you can actually choose the size and the softness and strength of your brush, but this is a pretty good size for me. And I can just paint around the subject of our photo pretty closely. And this is going to work best for videos where there's good contrast, but something like this, you'll notice After Effects will automatically create this pink line showing you the selection it made. There's a little bit of blurriness here. I might want to tell it just to grab a little bit more of that edge. And if you ever wanted to, if you ever went too far one way like that, you can always hold option on your keyboard. That'll turn the rotor brush red and subtract from selection. And I can tell it to subtract that part. So in general, I have this pretty good selection and Whatever frame you start at, you see these chevrons going right and left. When you press this freeze button, it'll begin propagating through every frame. So it'll go back till it hits frame one, and then it'll go forward all the way to the end. And it'll use the information you gave it to create a selection. So this is going to depend on how many frames are in your clip and the, the size of your footage. But I'm going to give it a moment to finish freezing our selection, and then I can tell you how to go from there. All right, so once After Effects finishes freezing our selection, you should notice it's created an outline through the whole thing. And if I go back to my composition window, you'll see our selection is cut out. Now this is actually the first step for a ton of interesting and cool effects that you could do, really. But for this case, I'm going to show you how to create a cool echo. So if I duplicate this clip, I'll press Command C, Command V, now I have two of the same clip. On the bottom clip, I can actually just delete that rotor brush. So now I have the original cl clip in its entirety and then the masked out subject. So on this top clip, what I want to do is go to the effects panel and search for one called echo that's in the time folder. If I drag this onto that top layer, it'll add the echo effect, which works in a few different parameters. One, you have the echo time. So this is how much forward or backwards it's delaying. So that could be one second back delay or one second forward or half a second. That'll choose how like separated they are in time. And this is gonna look different based on what's happening in your clip. Then you also have the amount of echoes. So this is just one echo. This is two, three, four. Do be careful, the more echoes you do, it's gonna get really intensive for your computer to render and buffer. So just remember that. And you also have the starting intensity and the decay. So you can make it a little less strong or you can make it decay a little bit over time. And lastly, you have the echo operator, which is kind of like the blending mode. So you have a couple different ones, add, minimum, maximum, these kind of are additive or subtractive blending modes. One interesting one you can do is just composite in the back or composite in the front. This will just composite everything behind. I think this one looks pretty cool for our case. And if you turn the original clip back on underneath, you now bring the background back in. So what you've created is just this repeating echo. Now the difference between doing it this way, you might say like, why do you need the rotor brush? Is if you don't do it this way, then you're just echoing the entire clip instead of just the subject, so it doesn't really look as cool. It can still look cool, like I can put it on add, um, but you're getting all of the entire clip blending on itself rather than just the subject, which looks kind of cool in my opinion. So this is what that would look like. Now this clip is kind of in slow motion, so that's why it feels kind of slower. One thing to keep in mind is since this is an echo half a second forward in time, once it hits the last second or half a second, since we had to do four echoes, uh, really once it hits the last couple seconds, you'll see some of those echoes disappear because it reaches the end of the clip. So do keep that in mind if you're wondering why that's happening. And really, 
from this starting point of rotoscope, even though that's not the scope of this tutorial, you can keep adding whatever other effects you want and it still looks pretty cool if you've done the rotoscope. So for example, if I added a colorama effect, uh, it still only applies on this. Do be careful, you know, the more things you add with this and the echo, it could start to get crazy, but you really can get creative with what you're doing here. So if you did enjoy this tutorial, my name is Justin O'Dee Show. You can check out tons of more effects and ideas on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.